Warning, all footage seen in this video is done by professionals. Do not try this at home. Viewer discretion is advised. One of BMW's most well-known slogans is, quote, the ultimate driving machine. Well, today I'm going to show you all a car that just may be the true ultimate driving machine. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 1998 BMW M3 5-speed coupe. This M3 comes with the Dakar yellow exterior, along with the black leather interior. As mentioned already, this M3 has a 5-speed manual transmission. This M3 comes with a four-spoke steering wheel with M badging on the bottom as well as M colored stitching all around the wheel. Alright, we'll go with a cut on the headlights as well as the hazards. Both front windows are fully automatic. Now I'm going to take a closer look at the M3's exterior. The second generation BMW M3, or more known as the E36 M3, came out for the 1995 model year for the US spec, and stuck around until after 1998, being replaced in 2001 with the E46 M3. A question some of you guys may be asking right now is that, is this really the ultimate driving machine? Well, lots of people out there simply think no, because this does not have as much power as the newer M3s, but I beg to differ from that. I personally think that this is the true ultimate driving machine. Yeah, it may not have the screaming high redline of the E46, it may not have the muscular sound of the E90 generation, and it may not have the 500 horsepower you could get in the G82 M4 slash G80 M3, but I feel like what makes this the true ultimate driving machine is its rear wheel drive, naturally aspirated, and most importantly, it has a manual transmission. All that gives you a connection to the car that you just don't get in cars nowadays. And it also gives you something to do. I don't know where you've been for the past two years, but there's been nothing to do. Not to mention, this M3 looks damn sexy. This car has aged pretty well as well. So that, my friends, is why I believe that this M3 is the true ultimate driving machine. Now another reason why the E36 M3 is so legendary is that this is actually the first M3 to have a 6 cylinder, compared to its predecessor, the E30 with a 4 cylinder. Now let's talk more about that engine. That engine is a 3.2 liter naturally aspirated inline 6 cylinder, which puts out 240 horsepower at 6000 RPM, as well as 236 foot pounds of torque at 3800 RPM. Curb weight for the E36 M3 is 3175 pounds. It is rear wheel drive and has a 5-speed manual transmission. And then for fuel economy, with regular unleaded gas, EP mileage estimates 18 to the city, 26 to the highway, with a combined 21 MPG. Estimated range on a full tank of gas is 295.2 miles to the city, 426.4 miles to the highway, 
and all that being in a 16.4 gallon fuel tank. The interior of the E36 is simple yet so beautiful. Just a simple black interior, no serious tech. But something that really does spice things up here is that the M logo is stitched into each seat. I'd also like to mention how new those rear seats look. This car is just in pristine condition. I gotta say, I've been in multiple manual cars recently, and I've noticed that BMW has the best feeling shifters. I seriously appreciate them for that. All right, we'll go out and shut it down. Now when it comes to trunk space in the E36, it's honestly a lot better than I thought it would be. The capacity of the trunk is 10.7 cubic feet of space. And of course, if you're not racing and instead making a Costco run, you can fold down those rear seats if you do not have enough space.
Now, before I end the video, wow. I would like to give a little statement about the car. Yeah. I feel like this car gets way too much hate, especially about the power numbers. I got a ride in this M3, which, by the way, is completely stock. And let me tell y'all right now, yeah, it is insane. not slow. In fact, it's so fast that I was thrown back in my seat. Not to mention, you feel the connection to the car thanks to the manual transmission. <laughs> Most importantly, this thing is amazing with the corners, especially considering that this car is from 1998. This thing is a riot. Show some love, y'all. Anyways, thanks for watching my review of the 1998 BMW M3. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, y'all.